Honorable questions, the honor of the deputy. The honorable member for Megantic Lérable. Monsieur le Président, les chemins de fer sont au cœur. Mr. Speaker, railways are at the heart of our economy, but Canadians are having an increasingly difficult time to get essential goods. This labor conflict could not come at a worse moment. Every day, farmers, businesses, and millions of Canadians are being affected by this labor conflict. And this could easily have been predicted. What is the Liberals' plan to, pretend, to prevent the supply chain from being disrupted and businesses from closing? The Honorable Minister of Labor. President. Mr. Speaker, negotiations always involve difficulties, but we must overcome them. The two sides of the negotiation will be continuing to work today. They are working hard. No one has left the table. They are all aware of what is at stake. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Mégantique l'érable Mr. Speaker, two years after a pandemic that has scarred our supply chains, that has increased prices throughout the economy, I am very disappointed by this government's nonchalance. No one should be surprised about this work stoppage. And yet again, this Prime Minister is slow to react. Things will get much worse if a solution is not found quickly. Can this Prime Minister commit today to finding a solution to this conflict? The Honourable Minister of Labour. Mr. Speaker, the best agreements are reached when everyone is at the table. We have confidence in the parties to reach a solution that they negotiate together. Canadians are counting on a rapid resolution to this situation. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Mégantique l'érable Mr. Speaker, it sounds like the government is washing its hands of the situation. I don't really understand what the minister is saying. While the parties are negotiating, Canadians, Canadians are paying a high price. Inflation has reached high levels. Houses aren't affordable. This situation is causing Canadians to make difficult choices. And things are only going to get worse. We have a proposal for the government to immediately reduce the burden on Canadians. Would this government agree that gas and diesel GST should immediately be removed? The Honourable Minister of Labour. Mr. Speaker, the parties are still negotiating. No one has left the table. We believe that the parties will be able to reach an agree will be able to reach an agreement around the table. This government believes that the best agreements are reached by the parties since they know the issues. And Canadians are counting on them to reach an agreement as quickly as possible. Thank you.